Hey everyone, my name is Jenny and welcome to my channel. Here's 28 facts about me. I was born on September 7th. I was born and raised in California, the Bay Area. I am the youngest out of eight sisters. It's crazy because we didn't find out about our long lost sister until about about five years ago. So that was quite cool. I'm full Vietnamese. I am fluent in speaking Vietnamese. I can read a little bit and write a little bit. I have four dogs. One's name is Marley, one's name is Rocky, one's name is Angel, and one's name is Nino. Angel was actually a stray dog that my sister found in the streets. One day, um, she was headed to work. She just called me, come outside, and she has a dog. And she's just like, I need to go to work. Can you figure it out? I was like, what do you want me to do? Pretty much just gave her food because she was really skinny. Um, she looked like she's been out on the streets for quite some time. A month went by and we still didn't find her owner. But we adopted her. We started noticing that she was getting a little chubby. We're just like, I think she's pregnant. But our dogs, Marley and Rocky, are actually neutered before we adopted her pretty much. Um, found out she was pregnant with six puppies. Our littlest one, Mino, came out. He's the only one that was with spots, had spots on him. So my dad's like, no, we gotta keep him, that's mine. I was like, dad, we already have like three dogs. Like, we can't keep another one. He's like, no, I wanna keep that one. So that's how we ended up with Speckles. I have an addiction, I do, and that's with milk tea, boba milk tea. I can drink that every day if I can. I know if there's like boba shops every single corner, like every corner that you go to, there's there's a boba shop. Fact number seven, I've been with my fiance dating for now seven years, which is funny because it's the seventh fact. But anyways, uh, yeah, we've been together since um, December 2nd of 2012. Hey, editing Jenny here, so it looks like I got my dates mixed up. We've actually been together since July 2nd, 2012. Been engaged since December 8th, 2018. So that's our wedding. Um, it would be in 2020, so it's definitely coming up. I am scared of elevators. Going to the hospital to visit my sister, because she just gave birth to our little niece. We're going to the elevator, I actually got stuck. Like me and my sister got stuck in the elevator and that just like traumatized me. It felt like like hours, but it was probably like 15 minutes. Okay? I was inside the elevator freaking out and my sister just like, dude, just calm down. Like, bro, calm down. Elevators just freak me out. I am actually five foot and four and a half inches. Um, I don't know if you can tell. By the height, I'm sitting down. So I have nephews and nieces that are older than me. I was born already an aunt. Um, my nieces and nephews could, I think they're probably like, the oldest one is probably 10 years older than me. One day I definitely want to move to Portland or Seattle, Washington. I definitely like the cold, gloomy weather. It definitely makes me happy. Oh, it's weird because I live in California. Yeah, that brings me to fact number 14. I hate the heat. The heat makes me very frustrated. You're weird because you live in California. There's a bunch of beaches and you know, that's why people move to California. Yeah, I don't like the heat whatsoever. My zodiac sign is a Virgo. My average sleep schedule, I probably get an average of five hours of sleep. Uh, I sleep late and I have to wake up early for work. So, yeah, I need to figure that out. I work in human resources. Um, it took me a while to get to where I am. Love my job. At times. <laughs> I love seafood. Um, I love shrimp, squid, octopus. So good. And we're back. Sorry guys, it looks like I forgot number 19. So I like Stitch from My Lone Stitch. A lot of my friends make fun of me in regards to this, as well as my fiance because my fiance is a chef. When we first started dating, it's a funny story. Um, we went out uh, to Applebee's. We both ordered steak, so he ordered his steak first, and the, the waiter asked him 
like how he wanted his steak cooked and he was just like uh, rare he likes it like bloody I won't yuck someone's yum but uh, when it came to me the waiter asked me how I liked my steak cooked and I was just like well done my boyfriend during the time was just like what like it's so funny because people are just like you guys like went on a second date after that that's crazy really weird on the fact where when I eat meat I don't want to taste the meat itself like it has to be super seasoned. I could probably be a pescatarian. I like going to Orange Theory. So I started Orange Theory March 2018. The best decision I've made. Started off Orange Theory last year with my friend. Um, thanks. Shout out to you. I did a class with her just to try it out and even though it was so intense because I didn't work out that much beforehand, I just went to the gym here and there. Um, when I did Orange Theory with her, it was definitely high intensity workouts. So we did a lot of rowing and um, some weightlifting as well. If you want to know more about that, just let me know in the comments below. And if you want to try it, you should definitely try it. I am an advocate for Orange Theory, definitely. Um, it's like a mini cult. Like whoever does it and they love it, they love it. One of my pet peeves is when people chew with their mouth open, like when people chew their gums. I just don't know. Like, I've been wearing glasses since the age of eight. So I feel like I look weird without my glasses. Back number 24. I've been in about three serious relationships in my life. One was freshman year of high school to sophomore, and then senior year of high school and my fiance now. I graduated college with a bachelor's degree in human resources and corporate management. I don't have any student loans, so that's definitely a plus for me. Just, you know, like not have to be stuck with a loan after college because I know that a lot of people are in that bucket but it took me a little longer to finish school because of it I was working full-time as well as going to school so I finished it a little later but I'm glad that I got it done fact number 26 I dyed my hair ever since freshman of high school my mom um, you know she dyes her roots because her grays come out so then one one day me and my sister were just like hey mom can you dye our hairs so she took like little pieces and made her like her own little like highlights for us but i haven't gone back to my natural hair color in quite some time my roots are coming out so i'm going to redo it sometime soon i currently drive a hyundai elantra um, i'm so proud of myself because i actually bought this car on my own and i paid it off so i got the pink slip that says I'm the owner. It's okay. Last fact, number 28. I actually worked my, I want to say my first real job because it's not really a real job, but um, a family friend owned a nightclub and me and my sister was actually working there at a really young age. <laughs> um, we weren't doing any like alcoholic drinks or anything or like bartending or anything but I worked coat check after they started dancing and stuff. It was getting hot. They would come to coat check and they'll be like, oh, um, me and my friends are gonna use one hanger because usually one hanger is $3 or a dollar, um, depending on that night, but $3 at most. Um, they'll be like, oh, my friends and I are gonna hang our coats together in one hanger. And it was like big jacket, super, super sweaty. It was gross, but I started working there when I was 14 years old. But anyways, that nightclub is now closed, so um, yeah. Definitely wanna upload more frequently. Um, I know this, this is my first video on this channel, but I've made videos before, but I was never consistent on it just because I didn't know what type of content to put out. So hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. So yeah, until next time, bye.